In this problem, we're asked to use the divergence test to show that the series diverges. We're just looking at the large n limit of the individual terms. And if that doesn't go to zero, then there's no way the series is going to converge to some finite number. So you can use this to show divergence, but you can't use it to show convergence. And when I write down the limit, I end up with n times sine 1 over n. And when n is large, 1 over n is getting close to 0, and the sine of 0 is 0. So this is like an infinity times 0 indeterminate form. I don't know what it comes out to. If I can manipulate this into a fraction, then maybe I can qualify to use L'Hopital's rule. And this is the standard approach. And now I end up with a 0 over 0 indeterminate form, because when n is large, 1 over n becomes close to 0. Now this means I'm allowed to use L'Hopital's rule, but if I'm taking derivatives, I really should have functions of all the real numbers, not functions that only work at the integers. So this is just a slight technicality here. I want to investigate the limit as x goes to infinity, sine 1 over x over 1 over x. And whatever the result of this limit is, it's going to be the same as the limit of the sequence of integers. But now I'm allowed to take derivatives. So I apply L'Hopital's rule. I take the derivative of the top. That gives me cosine of 1 over x. And then the chain rule says you have to multiply by the derivative of 1 over x. 1 over x is x to the negative 1. And when you apply the power rule, you get negative 1 over x squared. Well, I get the same thing in the denominator. The same thing as I got from the chain rule part in the numerator, and those are going to cancel out. So I have the limit as x goes to infinity of cosine 1 over x, and 1 over x gets close to 0 when x becomes large, and the cosine of 0 is 1. Finding out that the terms of this series are getting closer and closer to 1 as n becomes larger and larger means that we're adding 1 infinitely many times, so there's no way this series converges. It diverges to infinity. If you find the math content on Zach's lab helpful, Click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce dozens of new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.